Hello, I'm here today with a great new tutorial for you. You know, pandemic has changed the way we've been doing work this last three months. And if you have been avoiding jumping on a virtual meeting, I'm gonna help you out with exactly how to create your own in Zoom. Stay tuned. Now, it has been a whirlwind of a few months, right? If you've been avoiding the idea of jumping onto a Zoom virtual meeting because you just didn't want to have to do it and you were crossing your fingers that we would be out of this by now, you may find that right now is the time you're going to have to just dig in and learn how to use some of these tools. And with the pandemic, we have seen Zoom, Google Hangouts, Skype calls, and even Facebook Messenger become some of the norm just so that we can all communicate as if we are in a boardroom together or in a meeting room uh, together. People are even having happy hours together. At this point, you gotta learn, right? So I'm gonna break it down in really tiny, super simple bits for you. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump right into how to set up a virtual meeting with ease by sharing my screen with you. All right, here we go. You can see that I'm just at a regular old Google search and to do Zoom, what we do is we jump up here and we go to zoom.us and that will take us directly to their homepage. Now, if you haven't set up a, an account yet, go ahead and do that. It's right here, you sign up. It is free for 40 minutes and then it kind of kicks you off. But most people can handle the free version. If you need it for longer because you know that your clients are gonna need it and you're gonna have to do these Zoom uh, meetings more often, you may wanna go ahead and do the upgrade and it allows you to set multiple meetings and it gets, you know, they do some fancy stuff. So sign up is free right there. I'm going to go ahead and hit this sign in button. It pops me right here into a schedule the meeting area. All right. You have an option in Zoom to either download the app and you can open up an app to utilize their tool or you can do it directly from the browser, which is right here. So once you're inside the Zoom app, you have two options to schedule a meeting, either up top in the bar here or that blue button, and it takes you into the schedule a meeting area where it looks pretty self-explanatory here. You put all the information that your Zoom guests would need, like the topic and the description. Um, to save time and to make sure I have a complete description, I usually write this out first of, um, in, in advance so that I just copy and paste it directly into the description. You just come in here and you select your date and your time. And then what you'll see is that it has a warning here for the free users that they only have a maximum of 40 minutes available. So you just need to make sure that you recognize that it will shut off immediately upon reaching the 40 minute marker. So come down here, uh, make sure that you save your, your meeting so that it will actually populate the information that you need to share it out. So click save down here and then what you'll see on this next screen is you'll see the availability to either copy this link or you can go ahead and copy this information directly into your calendar so that you're able to take that calendar invite and share it with the guests. All right. So I set up a meeting today so that we can kind of take a look at what that looks like. So I want to show you a couple things. When you set up a Zoom meeting, it can be populated into your calendar. So here's what it looks like when it's populated directly into my calendar right here, Marie's Zoom meeting. So let's open it up so you can see what your guests are gonna see. You're gonna see this Zoom meeting. Here's a link right here and, a, and it says join Zoom meeting. Right here is a meeting ID and a password because Zoom was having some issues in the very beginning to where they were having some people join in the meeting that weren't, didn't belong. So here's where the password is. You wanna send this out and share it with the people that you want in the meeting, okay? But this is what it's gonna look like and this is what they're gonna see. So let's go right here. I will click this, it'll redirect. And because I have the app, it will ask me if I wanna open it in the Zoom app or whether I wanna continue using the browser. I'm gonna open up the Zoom app so you can see what it looks like. All right, and then it'll pop up here and it'll ask, do you wanna join with your computer audio? I do. So here's what I see, okay? Has the links that I can invite other people to join in. I can invite people here. I can share my screen or I can join with uh, just the audio if I were joining somebody else's meeting. But this is what I see as the Zoom meeting host, 
okay? So down here, you'll see all sorts of goodies that allow you to share your screen. You can do chat, which pops up a little area over here that allows you to type in some messages. And it pops into this little chat area for your guests. Here's your record button if you wanted to record it. And then they've got some fancy things. You've got the record and the breakout room. Um, it shows you how many participants and if you uh, want, you can invite directly from there as well. Okay, so that's it. That is how you start a Zoom meeting. You've got the links to copy. You can invite whomever you want via an email and it's that simple. Go ahead and try it. And if you want, you can go ahead and um, call up a friend, see if they can jump on one with you before your meeting. You can practice a little, make sure you've got all the steps down and that it was working beautifully, okay? Well, I do think that you will be able to do this without any problems, okay? So if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave me a, 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 leave me a comment below. Hit the subscribe button like if you can give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't worry we're going to be doing a little series with a few more videos that kind of get into some of the other stuff zoom also is going to be doing um, a whole nother rollout of a few more fancy things uh, for security purposes etc on july 19th so i am going to put together a video and let you know what all those things are about okay good luck join the zoom virtual meeting world and we'll talk to you next time bye